Hi. Now in this video, what I want to do is just give you three examples on how we can integrate, say, Shine Squared 6x. I'm going to do it a couple of ways, okay, so you can compare the methods. And an integral of cos cubed 4x with respect to x. Now you should be able to use these examples to do similar ones, say for instance, cos squared ax or shine cubed ax, all right? Now before we go into this, you might already know how to do these and just want to give this a go. So if that's the case, just give you a few moments to pause the video. When you come back, as usual, you can fast forward just to check you're working against mine. Otherwise, I'll just take you uh, slowly through the work solutions. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Don't forget you can fast forward then just to check your answers out if you had a go. If not, I'm just gonna take you slowly through the methods. So for this first integral, shine squared 6x, I'm gonna show you two ways of doing it. For this one, what I'm going to pick up on is the identities that you should already be familiar with for cosh 2a. It's identical to cos squared a plus shine squared a. And knowing that cos squared a minus shine squared a is identical to one, you can use that to develop these further two identities for cos 2a. Two cos squared a minus one and one plus two shine squared a. And we can rearrange each of these two to give us identities for cos squared a and shine squared a, all right? Now in this case, we're integrating shine squared 6x, so we're gonna pick up on this identity, but we could equally be integrating cos squared, say 6x or 3x or 5x, anything, all right, ax type. So we would use these identities. So for shine squared 6x, a would be the 6x, so we know that it's going to be identical to integrating a half cosh, twice that amount, 6x doubled is 12x minus 1. Okay, so if you substitute for that in your integral, then it's going to become this. Okay, half of the integral of cosh 12x minus 1. And now the integral of cosh 12x is 1 12th shine 12x, and the integral of negative 1 is minus x. So that's what you're going to get. And I've got the constant of integration there. You could obviously leave it like this, expand it out, or in my case, I'm going to pull the 12th out to join that half, and that's going to be 1 24th, and it's going to give us a 12x there. Okay, so that's how I would do that one. Now, this is not the only way of integrating shine squared 6x, as I'm going to demonstrate here. We could pick up on the definition of shine, let's just say x, which we know is e to the power x minus e to the power minus x all over 2. So if we're doing shine of 6x, then that's going to be e to the 6x minus e to the minus 6x all over 2, but we're squaring it. So we could go for this version, all right? I've got the definition for shine of 6x there, in brackets and I'm squaring it. And if you were to square this out in the usual way, then you're going to get this result here. So we could integrate each of these terms here. All right, so integrating, we're going to get e to 12x over 12 minus 2x minus e to the minus 12x over 12 plus that constant of integration. So how does this look like this? Well, Okay, if they asked to, you to have it in terms of e to the power x, okay, this would be the way to go. But what I could do is just rearrange this. I could put these two terms, that one there and the last term there, over 2. That would mean pulling out a sixth to the front here, and that would become a quarter times a sixth, which is a twenty-fourth. Pull that out the front. 
So I create this term and then make an adjustment on the minus 2x, it becomes minus 12x, okay, plus that constant of integration. And can you see that this reduces down to 1 24th, this is shine 12x, then you've got minus the 12x there, plus that constant of integration. So yes, it agrees with what we've got up here. So comparing the methods, well, I leave it up to you to decide which one you would prefer to use. Okay, so move on to this last one here. The integral of cosh cubed 4x with respect to x. So how do we do this? Well, it, we can split this up to cosh 4x times cosh squared 4x. So if you do that, you're going to get this integral here. We'd do much the same if it was shine cubed, say, 4x. We would do shine 4x times shine squared 4x with respect to x. So doing this one example, hopefully we'll show you how to do a similar one for shine. Okay, now we can pick up on cosh squared 4x. Remember, cosh squared minus shine squared of x is identical to 1, so we can rearrange that cosh squared 4x to be the same as 1 plus shine squared 4x. Once you've got that, okay, we can expand the bracket out, okay, put integrals around each of the two terms. Now when it comes to handling the integral of cosh 4x, well that's going to be a quarter shine 4x, and this type of integral we discussed in an earlier tutorial, so I'm assuming that you're familiar with this type. And if not, do go back and check the link in the description for this, okay? So on that assumption, what you should get is this result, a quarter shine 4x, and here this will be 1 12th shine cubed 4x, okay? Plus that constant of integration c. So. Hope you've been able to see your way through these, and uh, if you're able to get them all right, excellent, okay? So if you found this useful, do give us a like, and you might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get further updates. So thanks for watching, hopefully see you in another video.